Okay, yeah, there's where the old cap cut off. Uh, I couldn't say anything earlier because I had a mask on. Uh, anyways, original cap cut off. We're just going to set the new one up into place here and have a look at it. Sorry if it's so wobbly, I'm trying to walk around. Eh, maybe we'll just make a sunroof. What the heck? It doesn't rain that often, right? Well, there's the cap, the new cap on there, just clamped in, in place. It's gonna take some farting around to make that fit, but. But uh, I was half expecting that anyways, so. A little bit too too wide at the, uh, the bottom here. I'll have to cut it in half, narrow it up a little bit. Class it back together again. No such thing as a bolt-on part. So we're slowly getting the shop cleaned up. This is the steel table. There's the, our box pan brake. So that uh, bender material. This uh, table works out really well for steel fabrication. Getting into uh, raising the roof, uh, I got the front cap just kind of mocked up in place. What we're going to do is uh, raise the roof to match that, whatever it is. That cap is designed for a 12 inch raise, but it's actually for an MC9, which this has MC9 windshields in it, but it's an MC7 roof, which is a lot more curved. So we're going to have to, we'll raise it up to whatever that will tolerate. And I'm thinking somewhere between, somewhere around 10 inches probably, but I don't really know for sure. Uh, we got the, everything out of this side. Now it's all ready to raise. I'll go up inside here in a minute and, and uh, Go over how we're going to do it, but so anyways, it's kind of mocked up there, and uh, we're going to raise it up. I'm going to have to cut that and uh, make it actually work for this uh, application. But it's um, you know this this bus has been modified from an original, so you can't use a MC9 cap as is or an MC7. So I'm just going to have this is an MC9. We're just going to have to cut it and refiberglass it to make it work. I don't think it'll be that bad. Um, it's too wide. <coughs> if I go around the front here, I'll, you can have kind of, well, this might be too close. I don't know. But I don't know if I can get back far enough to really be able to see. But it's, uh, yeah, you can kind of see up in here where it's, it doesn't really fit very well. So what I'm going to have to do is, it's, it's good in the center. It's all centered up. So what I'm going to end up doing is cutting it on each side and uh, bring this, the two sides in to where they, you know, where they should be, where the curve lines up, and fiberglass it all back together again. Um, you know, like. Of course, that's easier said than done, but <laughs> uh, whoever said it was going to be easy. Anyways, this is uh, kind of what the front end's going to look like. Um, that cap's pretty much where it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to try and... I don't really like the way it is straight. Straight up. 
think I'm going to try and angle that the tops in a little bit so it matches the curve of the windshield a little bit better or the I don't know if we want to call it the windshield, but the curve of the bus, anyways, the side of the bus. It, it kind of the, the top of the windshields angle in a little bit, and this goes straight up. So I think I'm going to try and move those. They got to be moved over, anyways. So I think I'm going to try and make it so it just follows the lines of the bus a little bit better. Um, this cap was uh, when R and M made it. They, they typically they make a an eight inch raised cap, and the guy I got this cap from had them make a 12 inch so because it's at an angle what happens is when they when they add the extra four inches it ends up making it too wide because all those angles just are um, projected out so the, so the bottom of it is actually too wide I think even on an NC9 I think it would be too wide and have to be modified Anyways, not as bad as this one's going to be modified because this is a seven, but but because they're they're a lot squarer. But I don't know if you can even this even makes any sense. But anyways, we'll make it fit. <laughs> uh, inside here, uh, it's pretty dark. Maybe I won't even be able to. I'm making a. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I guess maybe I'll have to do this another time but I'm making a sliding I don't know how to even explain it a sliding uh, track so when we run the when we when we raise the roof one piece will be welded to the bottom the top will be welded to the roof and then it'll slide up and then we'll lock it in place. Um, I think it's too dark in here for this to even show up. So I'll, I'll when it's daylight or whatever, I'll uh, I'll do that portion again. But anyways, there's a fair amount of uh, work here to do. Yeah, this is just too too dark to even be able to see anything. I'm not going to bother. I'll just uh, when it's daylight, I'll continue on. <laughs>